Welcome to our next video in our series on real estate math. Today, we'll be discussing loan to value ratios, or LTV. LTV is a well-utilized term in the real estate industry, but what is LTV? Mortgage loans can be classified based on their loan-to-value ratios, or LTV. The LTV is the ratio of debt to the value of the property, where the value is the sales price or the appraised value, whichever is less. Why use the lower of the two? By taking the lower of the two, the appraised value versus the purchase price, the lender is better protected by not overvaluing the home. The lower the ratio of debt to value, the higher the down payment by the borrower. For the lender, the higher the down payment means a more secure loan, which minimizes the lender's risk. Before we discuss loan to values further, let's talk about equity. What is equity? Your home's value minus all debts and liabilities against the home. Liabilities include mortgages, liens, special assessments, and delinquent property taxes. However, typically we think the home's value minus debts equals equity. Let's say Joe owns a property valued at $300,000. His loan balance is $100,000. How much equity does he have? We would simply subtract the debt of 100000 from the value of the home, and the answer would be, Joe has $200,000 equity in his home. Note, equity can be either positive or negative. Say Joe's loan balance is 325000 He would then owe more than the home is valued at, with negative equity of $25,000. Value minus debt equals negative 25,000. Let's look at an equity problem you may see on your real estate exam. Sam purchased a property for $300,000 and put 10% down. The property is currently valued at 350,000 with a mortgage balance of 200,000 and a second mortgage for 50,000. How much equity does Sam have? Remember, home's value minus debt equals equity. As typical, when seeing a problem like this on your licensing exam, there will be extra numbers thrown into the problem just to make sure you know what you're doing. For this problem, they are looking for the equity. All we need is the value and the debt. We do not need the purchase price or the down payment. In this case, the value is $350,000 and the debt between the first mortgage and the second mortgage is $250,000. Sam has $100,000 in equity. Now, let's get back to loan to value. To calculate LTV, the formula is simple. Debt divided by value equals loan to value. We can also take advantage of our T-bar method for loan to value problems. If you've never heard of the T-bar method, I will leave a link to my video where I went over the basics. Here is how we would apply the T-bar method. So looking at our T-bar, the part which is on the top of the T, in this case, is the debt. The whole is the purchase price, and the percentage in this case would be the loan to value ratio or rate. The horizontal bar in our T means divide, and the vertical bar means you multiply. So if you are given a problem with any two out of the three variables, you can easily solve for the third by simply plugging in the known variables. Here is an LTV problem you may see on your exam. Jasmine purchased a home for $250,000. She put down a $25,000 down payment. What is the loan to value ratio? She purchased the home for 250,000. 
we subtract her down payment of $25,000 to determine her loan amount, which is the debt, $250,000 minus $25,000 down payment equals $225,000. Debt divided by value equals loan to value. $225,000 divided by $250,000 equals 0.9 or 90%. Here's another question example. The loan amount is $200,000 and the LTV is 80%. What is the sales price for the property? $200,000 divided by 0.8 or 80% equals $250,000. Okay, here's another good question. A home was purchased with a down payment of $15,000 and a loan of $59,000 at 5.5% interest for 30 years. Monthly payments are $604.88. What is the loan-to-value ratio? The first step is to see exactly what this question is asking for, which normally is found in the last line of the question as it is here. In this case, what is the loan-to-value ratio? Don't find yourself skimming through the question and noticing there is a monthly payment amount and an interest rate amount and a loan amount and thinking you need, to, uh, need that to do the amortization. So pay close attention to what the question is specifically asking for. For this question, we have our loan amount of 59000 But this question is not specifically giving us the value of the property, so we'll need to do another step to figure that out. To figure out the value of the property, you would add the loan amount, which in this case is the $59,000, to the down payment, in this case $15,000. Value equals loan plus down payment. Value equals $59,000 plus $15,000. Value equals $74,000. Now that we have that, we can go back to our loan to value formula. Loan divided by value equals loan to value. $59,000 divided by $74,000 equals loan to value. For our T-bar, $59,000 will go on top, that's the part. $74,000 is the whole, and we're trying to determine the percentage. Our T-bar tells us to divide. $59,000 divided by $74,000 equals 79.72%, rounded up to 80% loan to value. Not a math problem, but here's another question you could see. A lower loan to value ratio indicates A, lower equity in the property, B, greater risk of foreclosure, C, higher equity in the property, or D, greater use of leverage. Let's explain this question in detail. First, let's give ourselves an example. Say, James has a $200,000 value on a home. He had a loan to value of 90%. For this problem, we are given the whole, the $200,000 value, and we're giving the percentage, 90% loan to value. So our T-bar tells us to multiply. $200,000 times 0 0.90 equals $180,000. Now let's lower that loan to value. Say James had an 80% loan to value. That would make his loan amount 160000 Now, let's take a look back at our answers. Answer A, lower equity in the property. What is equity? Remember, equity is the home's value minus debts. So, looking at our examples, do we have lower equity with a lower loan to value? 
Example A has $20,000 equity. Example B has $40,000 equity. So example B with lower loan to value has more equity, so that rules out A. Now let's move on to answer B. Greater risk of foreclosure. Well, I'd say a lower loan to value means more equity in the home, so that would seem to indicate a lower risk of foreclosure, even though there could be other factors at play in a foreclosure. But I just don't see that as being the answer they are looking for. Answer D was greater use of leverage, meaning they are borrowing more, leveraging their credit, so that wouldn't be the answer. The answer we are looking for is C, higher equity in the property, which we've already shown. The equity is increased. Well, I hope this video helps ease your fears a bit when it comes to real estate math. Please like and subscribe, and you'll see us in another video very soon. Thank you.